Hey, did you grow up with a pool? I did. Endless <laughs> days in the summer heat splashing around. Yeah. Except for me, because I grew up in the UK. Enough said that. And there was one day a year where you might be able to dip your toe in a river. <laughs> well, some of our best memories, I think, as kids and adults, are made in the swimming pool. But, you know, I think times are kind of changing a little bit. And technology is changing as well. And I think there's this misconception out there that pools can be super expensive to run, maybe in the old days. But as I said, technology is changing and always evolving. So it's becoming more efficient, more effective, and I think overall more affordable. And I think the same can be said for pools as well. Yeah, absolutely agree. Yeah. And there's someone waiting for us just here who is going to give us a bit of a prediction about how we'll be doing pools in the future. Ooh, I'm excited to hear this. going to have a look. Yes. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hi, Dana. Hello, nice lovely to meet, to meet you. you. Hey, nice to meet Hi, well, you. Where are the pina coladas and the bikinis and the swimmers? You promised the world for us. <laughs> Cold today. That's me later on. Don't <laughs> yeah, worry. exactly. Now, Dana is an expert on all things swimming pools and filtration. So, thanks again for joining us today. Dana, explain to me why this pool is more impressive than your average. It's a nice pool, isn't it? There's three key features to this pool that differentiate it from your standard pools. The first one is that it has ozone swim, which is okay. a water purification system. And then we've got minerals in the pool rather than just using normal salt okay. to chlorinate the pool. So Because it doesn't smell very chlorine-y. That's the first no, thing you normally you can smell. The ozone swim has actually been around for a long time. It's used commercially a lot in big aquatic centres and learned swim schools okay. to help deal with the issue of chlorine that they have. They mm. tend to get a really big residual and build up of chlorine. Um, and it gets rid of the nasty byproduct that's associated with chlorine. Yeah, I do remember because I grew up with a pool, as I said, we'd come back after Christmas holidays and a lot of the girls that had blonde hair, their hair would be green. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> or you look like you've had a really massive night because the next day your yeah. eyes are bright red and bloodshot. And you wrinkly, yeah. And chemicals, especially chlorine, can be a really strong contributor to the triggers of respiratory conditions like asthma. Yeah. So I guess reducing it, what did you say, up to 80%? Between 50 to 80%, but that That's really depends, it's huge, but it really depends on where you live in Australia. Can you retrofit this into pools? Absolutely. The water feels different. Yeah, it's softer. softer, doesn't it? It's like silky and I don't know how to describe it really. Almost like you're bathing in Epsom salts or something. <laughs> Talk to me about this mineral system. Ah, oh, the minerals are amazing. They'll just take the pool to the next level mm. of enjoyment. Yep. Um, so when you use minerals rather than using normal salt, salt can be quite dehydrating on the skin. Okay. Um, but our minerals are really rich in magnesium. Um, we're from the Dead Sea. They're from the Dead Sea. Yeah. Um, Legit from Israel. Legit, Legit from the Dead Legit. Sea. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So it's hard to put your finger on it until you've actually swum in a mineral pool, but you do get this softness and silkiness to the water. I have two daughters mm -hmm. who have super long hair, oh. and after they've been swimming in the pool normally, their hair's matted. Yeah. Um, after they've been swimming in um, with, the, with the minerals and the magnesium, their hair feels conditioned. And then there's this very cute... Puppy, blue thing, it's like a little pup. <laughs> yeah, obviously, the dolphin. we all know that there's a robotic pool cleaners, but um, a little birdie tells me there are not many of these in Australia. They're just coming out. This has just been launched onto the market. It's called the M600. Okay. Robots have been around for nearly 30, 35 years mm -hmm. now. Um, the old creepy crawlies. Oh, I used to be afraid of them in <laughs> the pool. Yeah. And so completely like useless, shots. weren't they, back then, really? <laughs> But the M600 is using new technology. So okay. most um, robotic cleaners would use, um, have used Bluetooth um, okay. up until fairly recently. This, clean, this cleaner is completely Wi-Fi. Okay. So you control so it from your phone? You can control it from the UK if you went on, on no. holiday to go see your parents um, from the office. So I guess if you have a pool, you've already made that investment. I mean, this is an investment in the upkeep and then your swimming leisure, essentially, mm -hmm. and how you feel in the pool. I feel like this could be, you know, when you've had a pool for a couple of years, it's looking tired. Yeah. It's feeling times you get bored. It's the pool facelift. It's the pool, yeah, you get pool <laughs> the fatigue. Facelift pack. So chucking this in, a bit of an upgrade, mm. you're future proofing your, your I mean it's an investment. Yeah. You're future proofing your pool. And of course the benefits you and your family, it's gotta be a lot better than having chemicals and chlorine. So like you get <laughs> <laughs> do that. Um, we found all of this information. There's a great website where you